There is a popular notion that says women are challenging to read. And although this might be true, what men fail to realize is that sometimes there are some things they do that turn women off without them even realizing it. In this video, I will discuss the 7 biggest things men do that turn women off. Are you ready? So let's dive in. Number 1. A lack of control or being too passive. A man who lacks control, ownership, or accountability over his life can be a significant turnoff to women. I understand this may be challenging to hear, but I aim to be honest. Women generally appreciate a confident guy who can take the lead, be direct, and make them feel secure. You've likely heard this before, but it's true. Women want to feel secure and prefer a man who demonstrates control over his life. Making decisions, sticking to them, having your own opinions, and avoiding excessive passivity or being a pushover are crucial. While social media might sometimes suggest that women want to control a man like a puppet, that's not true. Women value a leader and confidence. Therefore, I encourage you all to build confidence, set goals, and have a purpose in life. Maintaining your composure and demonstrating a calm and collected demeanor is much more appealing. Respect her boundaries and never pressure her into anything she's uncomfortable with. It's crucial to be able to handle situations assertively, without resorting to aggression or violence. By showing that you can handle various situations with poise and consideration, you create an environment of security and protection. Number 2. Emotional Vomiting this term refers to a lack of emotional control, which is distinct from being vulnerable. Many struggle to express their emotions properly, leading to what we call emotional vomiting. Emotional vomiting involves suddenly releasing an inappropriate amount of emotions and personal history during a conversation, often to the listener's dismay. Let's explore some examples to clarify. Vulnerability, you work at a job and one day you mention that you sometimes feel compelled to quit and pursue woodworking, a lifelong passion. This reveals your interests and future aspirations, making you more relatable and lovable. It shows that you have control over your life while considering other directions. Emotional vomiting. After work every day, you complain to your partner about your stressful day, repetitive tasks, annoying customers, and dislike colleagues. This constant complaining without taking action signifies a lack of control over your life and can be a major turnoff to women. It's essential to differentiate between vulnerability and emotional vomiting to build better connections. Number 3. Overconfidence Confidence is undeniably attractive, but the distinction between confidence and arrogance is crucial. Crossing into cockiness or entitlement can be a significant deterrent for most women. They possess an innate ability to discern genuine confidence from a puffed-up ego, finding that equilibrium where your self-assurance shines without overwhelming the situation is essential. Instead of boasting, aim to embody confidence through your actions and demeanor, striking that delicate balance that appeals to women's sensibilities. Number 4. Poor Hygiene Maintaining good hygiene is a no-brainer, yet it holds paramount importance. Women possess about 43% more olfactory nerves, connecting their noses directly to their brains, dictating their sense of smell. With this biological edge, women naturally have heightened sensitivity to odors and cleanliness. Therefore, it's imperative to shower regularly wear clean clothes, and maintain dental hygiene. Pat breath is definitely a no-go. Grooming is equally essential. Trim your beard, keep your hair and nails clean. These practices enhance your appeal and underscore your self-respect and consideration for those around you. We all know that there are consequences when it comes to our health due to poor hygiene. Consequences like inflammation and erectile dysfunction, making it difficult to maintain an erection, among many other symptoms. In addition, a poor diet and a lack of exercise play a significant role. If you are not convinced about the importance of your health and the consequences that follow, then I want you to know that your poor hygiene affects your significant other as well. Keep that in mind because I know some of you are only convinced to take action when there is a woman involved. Grooming is essential, especially if you have a full or patchy beard or a head full of hair. Always try to build a habit of keeping it clean because food, dust, dandruff, a running nose, and constant touching can contribute to uncleanliness. Also, be sure to check for infected razor bumps, as she can get infected during intimate moments. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Your mouth is home to over 700 types of bacteria, so no matter how well you brush your teeth, there's a possibility that food particles can still be stuck in there somewhere. Try flossing, but also consider seeing a dentist more frequently for a full checkup. Bacteria from your mouth can be transferred to her, and no one wants to deal with someone with a smelly breath. Wash and dry your hands, especially under the nails, before any sexual activity. Consider all the things your hands come in contact with, like feces, for example. Even the smallest bacteria can cause infection, disease, illness, etc. 
Your hands spread germs a thousand times more when they're wet, so it's essential to wash and dry your hands before any contact or intercourse as your hands are bound to get wet. To prevent STDs, you have to use protection. However, some of you may not use protection or may prefer going in without it. This is why I suggest having a healthcare provider so you can get checked frequently and stay informed about your health. Not wearing protection and engaging with multiple partners can lead to mixing bodily fluids, which can throw off our pH balance. Number 5. Not listening. Listening to her isn't just important, it's a cornerstone. About 80% of the time, you might not be fully tuned in, considering the differences in how men and women typically communicate. Nevertheless, this doesn't diminish the fact that women need to feel heard and genuinely comprehended. Constantly interrupting her, showing disinterest during your conversations, and brushing off her feelings will make her feel neglected and unimportant. Cultivate active listening skills as a practice. Engage wholeheartedly in the conversation. Repeat back her words, pose follow-up questions, and provide meaningful responses. By doing so, you signify that her thoughts and emotions genuinely matter to you, fostering a deeper connection. Let's be honest, no one wants to be pushed aside or have their feelings belittled, irrespective of gender. Everyone seeks validation, respect, and the simple assurance of being heard. Number 6. Lack of Ambition Ambition is the ultimate indicator that women use to gauge whether a man will attain financial success or not. Common sense dictates that an ambitious man is more likely to persist in his pursuit of success until he achieves it. When women see ambitious men, even those who claim that they don't prioritize money, they unconsciously find them more attractive because they believe that these men can provide better resources for their children. You should know that even if you don't meet all the criteria, you can still make people like you by projecting a signal that indicates your potential to acquire the qualities that you currently lack. Even if a woman cares about money and wants to be with a wealthy man, she could still be drawn to a man who is not well off at the moment as long as he conveys his ambition and potential for future success. Once upon a time, a financially challenged man convinced a woman who valued wealth that he had a bright future ahead. He didn't explicitly state that he was ambitious, instead, he sent indirect signals, such as discussing his plans frequently, to demonstrate his true ambition. She eventually fell in love with him not only because he was ambitious, but also because he managed to convey all the other important qualities that she was looking for in a partner. If you're a man, the key takeaway here is not to overtly display your ambition, but rather to send indirect signals that demonstrate your ambition. However, it's important not to rely on ambition alone as each person has a long list of qualities that they seek in a future partner. Having clear goals and aspirations is undeniably attractive. It's not just about having grand dreams, women are more interested in observing your actions that align with your words. While verbalized the ambitions might catch attention, it's the tangible efforts you invest in transforming those dreams into reality that truly captivates. Words alone don't hold the same weight as active determination and hard work. When a woman witnesses your commitment to turning your aspirations into concrete achievements, she recognizes your resilience in facing challenges and your ability to succeed. This enhances your attractiveness and communicates that you're a dependable and accountable individual capable of navigating life's twists and turns, both personally and within a relationship. Number 7. In Authenticity Whether you like it or not, women possess a strong sense of intuition. Pretending to be someone you're not or trying too hard to impress her will almost certainly be detected. Being genuine and staying true to yourself will earn her appreciation. Sharing some of your personal details can help establish trust and deepen your connection. Remember, nobody is flawless. Embrace your imperfections and be open about your qualities. While it is critical to highlight your strengths, there is no harm in revealing some of your weaknesses. Your honesty and self-awareness will distinguish you from other men and make you more appealing to her. If you found this video interesting and informative, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future.